<laughs> Welcome back, everybody. It's time to play our weekly game called What's It Worth? We ask antiques expert Dr. Lori the value of three items chosen from the PTL mailbox. And since it's back to school week, Dr. Lori decided to school us on a little Pittsburgh history. <laughs> Hi, Dr. Lori. Hi, how are you? Oh, we're great. We're gearing up for school, and we're so excited to play this game with you today. I always loved back to school. I loved school, so it was fun for me, but I loved back to school. We're happy to play. Yeah, Pittsburgh's past is our theme for today. And All right. We're starting with a tulip plate, and this was sent in by Audrey. Yeah, this is a tulip plate. It's in nice condition as well. From the Hotel Shenley, you can see it here. Oh. Um, the Hotel Shenley Gardens, excuse me. And it's an American made plate, it's about eight inches in diameter. And this particular one, as I said, is in very good condition, and a lot of folks from Pittsburgh will recognize it. Hmm. Oh, what's it say on the back? Because it's so small, it's on the hard. The back it says Tulip Time, which is the actual pattern name, and the decoration on the plate is a reproduction of the famous tulips on the lawns of the Hotel Shenley in Pittsburgh. I thought this was a great addition. Now, how would somebody come to acquire one of these? Would this be something that was for sale or? Is it something that... Did someone steal it from the hotel? I, well, I wasn't going to say that, <laughs> but, you know. Not no, to implicate no, Audrey no. in any way. Yet, yeah, a lot of things do walk out of hotels, in my experience as an appraiser. <laughs> they walk out of places <laughs> that you don't expect. But, no, at this particular time, this is a reproduction that was made so folks could remember their time when they were there. I right. see. Okay. What, is there any gold on it? Totally legitimate. I didn't see gold, but I saw a lot of hand painting. Okay. All right, what did you say? Okay. I probably didn't go high enough. I said $120. Oh, I said $75. It's worth $35. Oh. It's yeah, a reproduction. I, it's a reproduction. Yeah, but I got really excited about it. You really sold it. I thought I was <laughs> I thought it was going to be more than that. All right, next up, we have okay. a bowl sent in by Inez. So tell us about, oh my gosh, the, uh, our family has a bowl like this. How about it? You know why? It's a Northwood Glass Company bowl. It's the footed grape bowl, iridescent, also known as carnival glass bowl. Yeah. And it's footed. You can see the little feet, which is a big deal in, in manufacturing of glasswares. It's from the early years of the 1900s. It's a very nice example, and it's in very good condition. Hmm. I hope it's worth a lot. Yeah. Um, <laughs> right. Because you have one? Because we have one, yeah. And it's pretty. It's really pretty, and I think it's unique. Okay. And I like the little legs on it. What'd you say? I, I see you, you went lower again. I said $70. I said 45 It's worth 50 Oh, my gosh. All right. So Heather has won this, unless something miraculous happens with our third item. Do you want to do double points? Let's do double <laughs> Let's points. Let's do double, for, double points. Double okay. points for the last one. Ooh, oh, points. Okay. now it's getting real. All right. We have a store <laughs> sign. This was sent in by Sue. And I, I know from watching Pickers and that sort of thing that signs can be pretty valuable, right? Yeah, the people on Pickers made signs really a big deal. And about five to seven years ago, they were at the peak of their interest. And they, that has waned over oh, okay. uh, the last, uh, I would say, about five years. But yes, signs, people do like signs, um, but we're seeing a change in that in terms of the market. This one is a great sign. It's in beautiful shape. It's the McCrory Five and Dime mm -hmm. sign is what we would call it. The Fifth Avenue downtown Pittsburgh location. It's a mixed media store sign. You can kind of see how big it is. It looks like it's somewhere in the 50, about 60 inches long, might be a little bit less than that, but they're just measuring what's called site size, not the frame. But typically appraisers will measure with the frame because you are also evaluating the frame that's mm -hmm. around it. It's in very nice condition and um, I'm not aware of how they acquired it, but oftentimes these pieces end up in what's called architectural salvage, so you can purchase them. Okay. Uh, yeah, McCrory's and G.C. Murphy's are the two. Home. Oh, go big, oh, go big or go home. Oh, all it's right. Double point. I just, I just changed a letter or a number. All right, are you ready? Okay, I said a hundred dollars. Oh, I went bigger than that. I went from one seventy to four seventy. 
$750 is what that sign is worth. No kidding. And that was double points, which means we tied it up. Wow. <laughs> that is amazing, Sue. Congratulations yeah, on your Yeah, that's fantastic. It that's is really a great. gorgeous that's sign. That's a beautiful piece. It's yeah. really cool. That's a beautiful piece. It's a custom-made frame as well. So the frame comes in a couple hundred bucks, and then the sign itself. So, I mean, it's beautiful. And that's in a, a soft sign market. That's that, really. If that was in five, seven years ago, it would, it would be have been higher. more. Wow. That's interesting. Thank you so much, yep. Dr. Lori. And thank you at home for sending us your pictures. You can send yours to Dr. Lori. Just email us at ptl at kdka.com. And maybe yours will be chosen for a future episode with our friend, Dr. Lori. Have a great week, Dr. Lori. Thank you. You too. All right.